it's me Renee, I'm back. So yeah, today, well today, also this week, it's a Vodafone, but also, it's also a fan fail, fan, fan sale phone, well, fan fan sale, video phone, yeah. Uh, <coughs> so far, though, I haven't read that much, it's Wednesday today, it's probably gonna up to, going to go up tomorrow, but yeah, um, <laughs> you said it, I haven't read that much, uh, sorry. That was me being wrong. Uh, on Monday, I on Monday I finished. Uh, I read this one more or less than more sitting. Majesty by American Roy American Royals. Majesty by Catherine Maggi Mackey. I really enjoyed it. And then yesterday I read one. Uh, I read. Consequences of a hot um, Havana night, and then today, well, well af also like after I finished this one, I was like, I'm not really sure what to read. I just kind of end up not reading. Well, yeah, also yeah, also yesterday, um, yeah, in between these two, so like yesterday before I started this book, I started, yeah, I started uh, Shuri by Nick Stone. It's a book uh, in the Black Panther universe. For a long time, it was, was young adult, but then so recently that it's described as middle grade slash, uh, um, like young young adult. Like it's I suppose it's meant to be to like nine to like fourteen, fourteen. So it's meant for youngest people. Honestly, I kind of got that because it kind of felt juvenile. I read I gave it four chapters, but I just. I didn't care, I just felt like the writing was so juvenile and it was, I kind of felt it was, um, I felt like the writing was, uh, pro procrastinating, no, it was, um, it, was, no, it wasn't juvenile, well, it was juvenile, it was, um, the writing was like, um, ah, oh, the word. Looked down upon, like it was patronizing. It was patronizing. So that was, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of been like my reading so far. Uh, so, yeah, I have read some, but I do want to read more. Uh, well, also, I listened to the audiobook of A Ship in Time. Really enjoy that. But, yeah, I kind of. I want to read more. I started slightly, not your backup. Uh, yesterday evening, yesterday evening, I liked it. I'm not really sure if I'm, I'm in a mood for it. So for today, okay, now at the point of filming, it's half past two in the afternoon, and uh, yeah, I'm going to work not that long from now. Well, for long, depends how you think about it. Right? But it's like it's gonna be like just two hours from now, so I probably won't read that much today, like before work anyway. But I kind of want to, like, this time I'm going to read tomorrow and after that. Uh, though I just made a plan of doing a hiking tomorrow, but I mean, the day's long, so I'll can read after that. But yeah, uh, so what I do have here the books that I'm planning to read for the reader fan. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read. While I'm filming, and I'm gonna discuss with you <laughs> without you being able to reply. But yeah, I'm gonna just gonna uh, uh, I'm gonna voice my thoughts and like, hmm, don't want to read this, want to read this after reading the first sentence, maybe two sentences, stuff like that. So yeah, it's gonna be like my next read or my next reads in a video way, and I hope you enjoy it. If not. No one's watching, so I don't care, and I can't really know. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. And yeah, it's gonna go up tomorrow, so it'll be special because usually I don't really have wheels up on Tuesdays. But yeah, it'll be like this that this week. I'm gonna start with Team Human by Justin Larbalestier and Sarah Reese Brennan. It'll be a reread for me. Justin Labrador is Australian, so that works for the femme fan tale because you're supposed to read authors from all over the world. 
and this book is a YA a vampire parody. Highly enjoyed it when I first read it. I think I only read it once, maybe twice, not quite sure. But yeah, I'm curious to get back into it and see how it is. But yeah, I'm kind of thinking like, should I read it now? Should I read it after the next book I pick up? Not sure. So I'm gonna read it and see. And yeah, I'm gonna, I suppose, like, if there's a prologue, if there's a chapter one, I'll just kind of decide for myself if I'll read a chapter, well, read from chapter one or prologue. It's up to me, really. But yeah. Chapter one. Two girls in a hazmat suit. Cool. I didn't remember this having chapter titles. Cool. I wasn't feeling very infused about education. A day a vampire came to school. Huh. Very cool start to it. Usually, since we live uh, in Maine, it's cold. This September, the sun was invading the sky, bright and fierce. And my best friend, Kathy, and I was hauling our bags up to up one the steep streets and sweating. I was also not feeling very enthused about vampires, but I never am. Kathy is a different matter. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop there. Uh, I like it so far. I like it. I remember like it being like I remember it being very humorous, and uh, yeah, it's very full of filled with humor and levity. And yeah, I might pick this one out, out up, because I mean, often, well, most of the time, re readings is like easier to get into if you're like, what to read? It's like, okay, I've read this before. It's not that easy to like get into the world and stuff. It's kind of like coming home or com well, it's coming back in a way. So yeah, I might do this one. Though yeah, I'm gonna read others and see if the other ones catch my eye much more. Who knows? And we have uh, The Guardians of Time, well, the named first book in the Guardians of Time series by Marion Curley. This will also be a reread, and this author is also from Australia. Let me see. <laughs> this book I actually read like lots and lots of times, so I can pretty much, all, pretty much, uh, almost um, remember the starting uh, word for word before I start to read it. I at least I remember like how. More or less how it starts, so that's kind of fun. But yeah, prologue. Her hair is black and thick with bouncing curls that bob around her shoulders. Her eyes are blue, deeper than his. A much more attractive child, he knows. She is their parents' favorite, but he doesn't care. Her name is Sarah, and at ten, she is the driving force of his life. Hurry, Sarah turns back once urging her little brother forward. It's going to bloom for the first time ever. I can't miss it. The boy hurries as fast as his short legs can move. What's going to bloom? The flower, you idiots! And what are we waiting for? The giant black iris. He stamps his left foot and stops still. Don't call me an idiot. She turns, impatience, making her eyes widen. I didn't really mean it. Now come on. I'll just stop there. Stop there. Stop. Just stop there because it's almost the whole page. So yeah. Still, yeah. Every time I reread this one, I never get tired. I always love it. So this is a good contender because yeah, this book in the series never lets me down. So yeah, I might get back into this next. Let's see. What the other one has pulled in store for me. So, this one is a first time read. It's a new release, so it's kind of obvious, though I could have had a hard knock. I could have already read this one because it came out in September, well, early in September, so yeah, but I haven't read it yet. So, yeah, let's try it. This one, though, I'm kind of hesitant, slightly hesitant about it because I heard. Recently, that it's supposed to have some violence in it. I don't really like violence that much, and so I'm gonna give it like Hunger Games vibes, and I don't like that. But I'm gonna give it a go. Cinderella has been dead for 200 years. I've been in love with Erin for the better part of two years, and I'm about two minutes away from certain death. Ha! Huh. Okay. 
it's not a bad start. I mean, sometimes you have really good starts and then it goes downhill from there. But so far, it's very good. Seems, oh, I was just kind of like mm, looking through it. It seems like the chapters are short. Yeah. I might pick this one up. It's kind of, I mean, it's kind of fun to start something new as well. Though the other two books were new reads, so. Hmm. Yeah. This kind of. Kind of issue because I mean the point of this video was well, at least the point of me reading the first parts of these books was kind of like making me decide what to read next. And so far, all the books sound so good, or all the books sounds, yeah, like I want to pick them up. So yeah, hopefully some of the next books are bad or giving maybe like giving advice for like I have to read them maybe. I suppose I could say, like, you could vote and say what you think. Though, as I said, I'm probably going to post this tomorrow. So, when this is up, this is coming up, I'll probably already start it. Then again, I might not end up reading anything before after I post this. Who knows? I, I'm a fickle that way. And we have The Blossom and the Firefly. It's a historical YA. And I think also it's historical YA with a uh, sapphic romance, but I might be wrong there. It's an author I haven't read about in read about before. That's fun. And uh, let's just start chapter one. Hannah. My father's voice wakes me, thick as wool, slightly scratchy. Get up, Hannah. It's time to get going. Music fills the room in a cresting wave. Cresting? What's that? Yeah. I suppose I could just Google it. Uh, he must be playing the koto again. And then a hand rocks my shoulder gently. I roll into my, onto my back, flat on my futon, and open my eyes. There is no music, and I remember. Father has gone off to war. Okay, so kind of like a... Packs a punch to start, like, okay, so this... So she's dreaming, was first it's like nice and then, oh no, he's at war. I suppose it's a book set in a war, so you have, you would have like a war setting, like you would, yeah, you would do that thing like, oh yeah, it's war again. Uh, so yeah, I might pick this one up, but so far, I think like, maybe, I'm not very convinced. I still want to read it, but read it next, not sure. Let's read more. Then we have <clears throat> Ink, Iron and Glass by Gwendolyn and Claire. And this is the first in the series. It's high fantasy, but it's based on 14th century, I think, Italy. So historical Italy. And it's like the idea is that people can like uh, draw and write things into being. So you can like draw a unicorn and then it comes out of that paper. That sounds so cool. And I'm gonna need some tea. Okay. 1891. Describe the world of Veldana. Elsa crouched beside a tide pool, the hem of her skirt gathered over her arm to keep it off algae, slick rocks. A new species of starfish had emerged, but whether it would persist in the world or not was an open question. Elsa pulled on her clockwork glove and activated its ability centers in the fingertips, then gently lifted the starfish out of the water with her other hand. Yeah, yeah, I like it. It's not like, I mean, it's very descriptive, it's not like you know a lot of characters so far, it's just the one character, the one fish. You don't really know that much from the beginning. But, I uh, it's a beautiful cover. Um, but yeah, I'm unsure. Then we have the marked girl, I was about to say this marked girl, it's that marked girl. Uh, let's see, it's a portal fantasy. Why it came out a few years ago? Let's see. The night that started out normal. Hmm. Nice chapter battle. And there's no 
chapter number. So that's fun. Interesting. The light glinted off the side of the sword as it arched, as it arched down in one perfect sweeping in ocean. motion. The black sla slid, the blade slid into the exposed side of a young man who knelt frozen on the ground. Immediately, a small patch of deep red bloomed against his shirt, and it collapsed in a, on a broken heap. The black-haired girl gripped the sword, the sword handle grinned wide and pulled her weapon back, flinging it up over her head as it reached for the night sky. Cut! Oh! Huh, so this is maybe like a movie then? Hmm. Liv Phillips sighed and pushed herself up off the cement from where she had been watching the action unfold. Her knees creaked and she badly needed to crack her neck. She took two steps towards Shannon May, the girl with the sword, who was now twirling the weapon around with laser flicks of her ripped wrist. There isn't enough blood, Liv said. Hmm. Okay. Fun start. So there's supposed to be like some filming going on? Because I know this is portal fancy. So I suppose there's filming and then there's portal fancy. Cool. So they pretend first and then it's real. Cool. Um, yeah, I might pick it up. This is going so well. Like most of these books sound so good and I don't know what to read. I suppose you'll just be very surprised when I post this and I also like mention which books I started. I'm thinking probably will do a, one of the rereads. Well, I don't know. Let's do the last one. Seafire by Natalie C. Parker. Originally, I had a plan to read it in August, but yeah, you know. So yeah, um, before, and there's no chapter title. Caldonia stretched along the prow of the ghost. As the ship sliced through black water, at night the ocean offered only a dark reflection of the sky above and the promise of a cold grave below. Her mother, Rona, crouched near, a rifle balanced on her knees, eyes away in the sea rode ahead. Our way forward it mar is marred, do you see? she said. Interesting. I guess I kind of violent vibes. I suppose I kind of know this. I think this is supposed to be violent because. It's about pirates. I think it's pirates and mermaids, or like sirens, or like evil mermaids. So yeah, I'm not sure that's what I'm in the mood for right now. I'm in the mood for something more contemporary-ish. At the moment, anyway. So I think it's probably going to be more of these two, because both of these two are paranormal or urban fantasy, so they're set in our world for most of it. So that way, yeah. So I think it's gonna be one of these two. But I'm not quite sure which. No, I think it's gonna be this one. Probably will be this one. <laughs> You've seen this in quite a few videos lately, but it's a great book. Now I've read it in quite like 12 months, 30 months. I oh, you should read it. But yeah, then again, this one. Yeah, let's see. And you'll just see which it ends up being. And uh, yeah, you'll just, maybe you'll comment something about these books down below. About the books you're currently reading, planning to read them next. And uh, yeah, this is me, Sing Renee, out.